you get like it's rather station someone's <laughs> got to say it. a lot of celebrities don't tell you these things guys yeah this red carpet business no you only see the last image okay but everything you know they stand in lines and all to get on the red carpet you all didn't see that you all think they all come off of cars yes. no they stand in lines on the road to get on the red carpet you were getting calls from every single actor <laughs> go on <laughs> yeah, yeah, yes <laughs> but, but to make videos so like it's not like they're like hi come let's hang Cheers. I can we just take a moment to I know I've been belting it since I took it. What is yours? Pistachio. I don't like pistachio. You want coffee? No, I like pistachios. Don't get offended and like come at me. Pistachio is great. Got to be careful. I don't want to like offend pistachio fans. Are you allowed ice cream on a red carpet diet? Who cares what red carpet diet? I haven't eaten in 4 days cuz the food we couldn't find but otherwise I would have belted food. Uh yeah. Yeah, I thought I think this I'm was allowed. My dresses are big enough to cover all the ice cream and like pizza I'm eating. Mm. Just my chins are the problem but I think we let it that out. <laughs> no, but on a serious note, unlike some of us who are making our can debut, yeah, my friend here, you've been there done that. Does the pressure get little bit like lesser when you also I realized that yeah. uh, over the course of this conversation my yeah. Bangalore accent is going to come on full on full Wait, on it's from, you're from Bangalore it's coming oh it's God, coming okay. from okay, inside let it come let it come <laughs> or are you mocking me no 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 no, Either no. Way it, it just works. it just comes no, it's out fine. please yeah. mock me so does the pressure get easier when you're coming back for the second time for me no no cuz i feel like i'm an anxiety child like i'm always anxious and i'm a nervous ball of nerves about Doesn't everything. Add up. I really am. Like I I had I think I had a panic attack yesterday when I was going on the carpet. But I went. <laughs> you still went. Took pictures. Yeah, what to do? We're already there. No, I was like, I'll panic later. <laughs> so I'm holding Hold it. Hold that in. thought. <laughs> yeah, I was holding it. And I'm like, bro, you get 10 seconds. Just go stand and then you go and cry. But that's Which is what truth. I did. You literally get 10 seconds. You get like it's so yesterday's carpet In all honesty, guys, was like Dadar Station. <laughs> Someone's got to say it. Everybody and their mothers were on it. After a point, I was like, "Is this the red carpet, or am I a red carpet?" Because I was wearing red, um, and I had people stepping on me. So I was like, not like in a step on me slay type of way, but in like a actually stepping on me, like get your Ouch. foot off me, sir, type of way. Also, I realized like a lot of celebrities don't tell you these things, guys. Yeah. Not that I'm a celebrity. I'm saying they don't tell you. um this red carpet business no you only see the last image okay but everything you know they stand in lines and all to get on the red carpet you all didn't see that you all think they all come off of cars yes. no they stand in lines on the road to get on a red carpet i love that this yeah, is going can. to be my question yeah. i'm like someone tell me the reality of that red that carpet that is the reality of it okay some of them i like that some of them of course like like the one we did with brute we got off like at the entrance but it is not what you would think it would be like behind the scenes the glam and the pizzazz and the shutterbugs they're all great but in that moment but outside of it and before it it's it's so it's not something you would see online because it's so messy and it's just so um it's a little sad actually um but it is what it is you know sara was actually talking to us just yesterday and yeah. she talked about how being on this red carpet also yeah. gives you perspective yeah of where you stand exactly. in like the the big scheme the of things the grand scheme of things yeah. right you feel so tiny but in a good way because you you i feel like it hit me yesterday where i was like there is so much more to do in life and so much to achieve and even when you're standing on the red carpet I got goosebumps because I was just like I can't believe I'm doing this firstly because I'm I do comedy I'm into entertainment I'm not in the fashion world I'm not I'm not a filmmaker um so I recognized that I was privileged enough to have the opportunity and I was mm. super excited about it mm. and I was also nervous because of the scrutiny that comes with somebody that's not doing fashion or like film or someone that's an influencer doing something like this right there's always scrutiny about influencers doing everything um how do you unpack that I don't actually because I feel like I've um, I call myself a child of the internet because I've been on the internet since I was 15 16 that's when I started making YouTube videos so I'm at a point where I 
recognize facts and opinions and I don't let the line between the two blur. And when I am scrutinized, I take it with a pinch of salt because uh, people are allowed to not like me, right? Like, just like I don't like a lot of people. So I'm not too pressed about it. But I'm also human, so I'll feel bad. I'll go cry in a corner, but I'll get over it and move on. So big deal. Um, but as I was saying, when I was on the carpet, I, it, it truly, truly made me feel um, so grateful and so lucky because I get to do these amazing things and I get my audience's support even though I do something very different mm -hmm. with the, they're not pissed about it they're very like supportive and they're happy for me to recognize that and be grateful for that is 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 the moment that I had yesterday what is the most like rubbish piece of advice someone gives you right right before you go on the carpet on the carpet <laughs> Just everybody will take pictures of you. No, like it's like you have to. I'm not even kidding, Sneha. Any celebrity, right? Unless it's your premiere or it's your movie, everybody's fighting for the photographer's attention. I'm being so real right now. I don't think I should be like I think it's my giving face. out cam I love it. secrets. It's just it's yeah. all spill the tea. <laughs> and when yeah. we can. I'm also. Um, also, I'm having a very vulnerable day. Uh, I've been in heels Come, we'll for go, like we'll two, go three sit. days. We'll so. save you. We'll save you the. Mm. Trust the girl. Guys, if you can get no, the blister, the reality, since you're being raw and real. I, dude, I really, that looks so painful. The blisters are real, but that the show so must go on. I know, I'll show you mine later. They're kind of gross, actually, <laughs> like my blisters. I'm trying to hide them and be like cute about it. But tell me how um, can, yeah. like you said, you're a child of the internet. Yeah. Uh, you don't have a film mm -hmm. showing here. But how does Cass Maybe one day, no? Hopefully, fingers crossed. We shall manifest That's the goal. this uh, I really want to manifest. I'm like, please, dear God, give me enough uh, strength to be creative and talented to do something useful with my life. I'm very excited to How do something. How many million big. are we sitting on? At that last count, I'm saying bigger dreams, like bigger creative dreams. Okay. Numbers to everyone so everyone has these So speaking of those days. bigger creative dreams, yeah. You, how does coming to a Cannes Film Festival sort of? checkbox something for you what does it really mean for you can i show you something mm -hmm. on my phone mm -hmm. so that's a widget that's actually a shot from can that's also a widget that's a shot from can i didn't even know it was a shot from can when i made that my uh, vision board thing no i just wanted I wanted a bigger life, not a bigger dream, right? And and that's something I manifested in a weird way. I didn't even know what can, like you know, I didn't know the hype about it. I knew it was a big film festival, but I never thought someone like me would it get to go to it. It was on a vision board sort of. It thing. was on a vision board, and I uh, manifested it by mistake. Means <laughs> like I, <laughs> you know what I mean? I feel like I said, said a dream okay? Yeah, no, I feel like I said about it. I was like, shit, I wish I could do this, man. And then when it happened, I was like, wait, am I actually doing it? Like, like what the hell? Do I even deserve this? Which I feel like most of us question ourselves at all times. But I'm at that point when I'm like, if I'm doing it and if the opportunity came my way, I'm just going to think I deserve it. And I'm going to enjoy it. it. I want to enjoy it. I yeah, hope you exactly. enjoyed those 10 I seconds. I really did. I really did. Honestly, it was so fucking surreal. I'm, I'm sorry, I can't. It's allowed. It's but digital. It's, still, oh, it's digital. Okay, my mother is also watching this. <laughs> Hello, auntie. I don't really cast, okay? Just this one time. Um, it was, it was amazing. incredible. It was incredible. I think it hasn't sunk in for me yet because I just, growing up, I was a very like, um, I wasn't conventionally attractive, conventionally accepted because I was chubby kid. I, I had like, like just very ugly, very really? vibes. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I never, um, I banked on my humor or my personality to get through life, right? So to do something where um, it's it's not your personality being showcased, but you as a person, like the physical aspect of it. Yeah. Um, that's like a weird, like full circle emotional moment. Can I tell me. you that you've got a bit of a crowd going? I just want to say that there are a, people a, who are just people, like gathered. There are people who don't know me. I love how people on the streets take videos of me here and they have no idea who I am, right? So I pose also. I'm like, hi, you want one more? Okay, please take. I don't know what you'll do with that video, but take. <laughs> please uh, that, take it. That was actually one of my questions because besides being incredibly funny, you are also a very gorgeous girl. So I was actually no, curious to me. know. <laughs> I was curious to know whether being beautiful ever comes in the way for a female comic. Wow, Sneha, I I have so many uh, confidence issues. The fact that you're calling me pretty right now and you're asking me a question that's based on like 
my looks you being know in the way you're beautiful. Is, <laughs> thank you. Um, I now I know. Uh, I don't think it has come in the way, honestly. Like I, I think uh, in a weird way, I think it helps with what I do a little yeah. bit. Um, so no, and and it's kind of weird for me to actually bank on like the looks factor. Also, it's even weird for me to say it because, like I said, growing up I was so different, and I never thought I would be able to bank on something external or physical for anything in life. So, so humor, in a sense, gave you your sense of self. It was my, yes, it was my defense mechanism. It was my purpose. It was um, it was how I got. by or got through life at that age because i had nothing else going for me and and i feel like when i was very overweight and i um, had people bullying me i kind of turned it around for me by uh, making fun of myself like i would i would be the clown and i would make all the fat jokes about myself so that uh, people are entertained i'm in with the cool kids and nobody bullies me also because everybody likes that self deprecating friend no me And speaking of uh, getting bullied and cut to, I'm here as a journalist, but my sources tell me that you have been invited to some hip and happening parties at Cannes. Tell me about this after party life that also happens. I've been invited to your party only, <laughs> so I'm coming to your party. Uh, we went to this uh, some cool Albain party at JW Marriott. It was so cool that I didn't even get it. Okay. <laughs> I was like, oh, I'm not cool enough for this place. They're all too cool. They're all like, you know, like my milkshake brings all the boys to the yards. They're all dancing like this, and I was like, I don't get y'all. Like, I don't like y'all are not like losing it and like, <laughs> like yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. And like to throw that ass back, they're all just like, you know, and I'm like, you're not throwing anything back, but great party though. <laughs> it looked like it was a great party because everybody <laughs> looked. Great. <laughs> From whatever I could see in the dark, really, I feel like everybody looks better in the dark. <laughs> But I don't know what I'm saying. I haven't had food in four days. <laughs> I started off with how we are uh, neighbors in Bombay. Mm-hmm. You just moved, mm-hmm. and so did I. But it's a big move for you. Yes. Getting into the city of I'm dreams. I'm just so excited with neighbors. Yeah. Like I could really use a friend. I'm so yeah. lonely. She's she's the most famous person in our building. So we're sure. like, Woo-hoo! is that true? I don't think that's true. <laughs> I really don't think that's true. But okay, I trust you. No, but what does this move really signify? It's sapno ka sheher, and you yeah. know what they all say. So what were you thinking when you decided? to make the move i actually didn't think at all i graduated 6 months ago mm-hmm. um and i came back to india to visit my family and i just ended up staying for a really long time because i had a lot of on ground work which i didn't expect because as a content creator i assumed that i could be in any part of the world and still make content that would cater to whatever audience is wherever in the world once i came on ground the, you the... were getting calls from every single actor <laughs> go on <laughs> yeah, yeah, yes <laughs> but, but to make videos so like it's not like they're like hi come let's hang um Um, yeah, and 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 it was um, a whirlwind of new work that came, and my life sort of changed again for the second time once I came back to India. And after a point, I just felt stupid to not continue this and go back to get a job. Um, so I just yeah. ended up staying. And it would be so my, weird to have you so like <laughs> working doing marketing for someone yeah. else. That's yeah. not me. <laughs> Also, just being a famous person sitting at a desk, but who knows? <laughs> Nobody there knows, so they'll be like, "Just do your job and get out." You're famous, where not here? No. It's the Correct. internet. It is the internet, but uh, that demographic doesn't know my face, so they'll be like, "Calm, dia to kar, bahut zyada mat uthe." So, so you uh, stayed back. Yeah, so I stayed back, and I um, decided to move because I was just like, it doesn't make sense anymore for me to stay there, and I wanted to go back to Bangalore. But all the work is in Mumbai, and I spent so much money on hotels, Neha, staying in Mumbai when I was traveling back and forth. And I was like, I could buy a house with how much money I'm spending on hotels. Not in Mumbai. So not in, <laughs> in Bangalore. I could, yeah. Uh, Mumbai is so expensive, bro. Tell me about it. I thought I moved from LA to like India, and the currency change will actually help me, but absolutely not. Um, but what's the move been like for you? It's been great in terms of work. I love my house. I love my space. I I um, truly enjoy my home. Um, I love the people in Mumbai. Actually, I feel like they work so hard that it pushes me a lot yeah. more. And uh, in You're a running. yeah, You're in a running. very weird way, I feel very safe in Mumbai. I don't know what it is. I feel so safe in Mumbai, 100%. even though I'm all by myself. Hundred um, percent. 
I really love this city. Because no one has a time only. Yeah, na. yeah, and I've and I've always been such a Bangalore girl, and I I will be for the rest of my life. But heart. Mumbai has one soft spot in my heart now because I truly feel like I can build a home and and, and like a space for myself in Mumbai. Um, yeah, now I just have to find friends. Hi. 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 You are Leo. Okay. Sure. <laughs> I'm glad you're so stuck with me because now we're neighbors. Also. Now, now we're neighbors. Now I'll be like, hello, Sneha. Sugar is Hi. there. Sugar is there. Milk? No. Okay, I'm lactose intolerant anyway. I just wanted to say hi. Yeah. A little bit. Like I get acne when I. This is unnecessary. But I get acne when I drink dairy or like consume dairy. Who am I? I've been in India all my life. I had pimples all my life, and then I stopped dairy. And I was like, that's why. I'm dairy free, gluten free and like fun free. Mhm. Yeah. Does does being on the sort of um, schedule that you are allow you to watch movies at can? Um we did watch a movie yesterday. Mhm. It was a French film. It was really nice. It was a pre-war um based film it was called the zone of interest um so means after walking the red carpet people watched. watch no actually you know what a lot this is tea okay tea people spill the tea people like walk in they take their pictures and they leave and i'm like but we have a ticket and, <laughs> and like we did all this to go home absolutely not so i will sit down and i will watch the movie okay you can you can't stop me and my outfit would take three seats but i don't even care i'm like you sit on my dress but i'm watching the movie We're at Cannes Film Festival. All these people coming here to take red carpet pictures. Sit down, watch it. <laughs> sit down, like just sit down. Stop it. They're like, oh my outfit. Then why you wore it? Why you wore it? <laughs> you knew it. Now you're going. Movie. Yeah. <laughs> so my outfit is also one of those outfits. But I sat. Okay, I really like the whole time I was like this. But I sat down. I'm like my trail was bunched up in my lap, and I was hugging it like one cotton candy. But great. Great experience because I was trying not to obstruct the view of the people behind me. You know? <laughs> I was being mindful. Very. I was being very, really mindful. Very. And so I hate it when people are too tall in front of me. Anyway, finally, I want to ask you now that you're used to the glitz and the glamour. Hmm. Does uh, a career as a full-blown actress does it entice you? Who doesn't it entice? I think that's really cool. But um, I, I have very. Um, very particular and specific dreams like i want that to go a certain widgets? way i have widgets i have widgets. widgets i have vision boards and widgets <laughs> you will not believe it i can't wait to show you my old vision boards that are at home by the way now that we're neighbors you will actually freak out like you will be like but you did Talk this not like about I told this you, you just manifest i no actually i've never been about like the manifestation thing cuz i i never truly like believed it i would read all these like secret whatever books mm-hmm. but i would also read this power of your subconscious mind cuz i was like i need science in this cuz this doesn't make sense like how can the but universe listen, just right give me whatever on your phone i know but like my logical part of my brain is like bro but you put your head down and work all this can be coincidence right time right place also so i'm one of those skeptical little uh, pieces of shit so but coming back to yeah. being an actress oh my god now I that you know you're gorgeous history. yeah thank you thank you for man said this to me i'd be married by now <laughs> um um i would love to for it acting but i'm just waiting for the right you know such a such a cliche answer i'm giving but we have a short film on the way uh i'm oh. just, i think this is the first More time i'm tea. saying it out loud uh, i don't even know if i'm allowed to say it out loud we haven't started shooting nothing but we're about to so okay. hopefully next year this time you'll be like i saw it hopefully you'll say it was nice you look at actress to your bio as Me, well no that's a little cringe for now when i actually become one we'll see i don't think actual actress is add actress to the bio no it's a little bio. cringe no that's <laughs> not <laughs> like i'm saying it's a little cringe like i'm only not cringe anyway <laughs> i love it you know i just wish that everything that you've manifested by this gorgeous just so pretty you put one one Uh, coin. coin in it. Throw one it coin in. No, we'll get kicked out. Yeah, we may just get yeah, thrown we'll out of here. This is not India. We'll yeah. do it in we'll Goa. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> See link pe. <laughs> <laughs> please, Bhagwan ji, ek do film to de. <laughs> Kuch bhi karke please. <laughs> Thank you for talking to me. Thank you for talking to me. I really needed someone to talk to, and it's raining also. See, it's raining. No, yeah. it's so good to see you over here. But Ooh. now you don't have to come this far. I'll meet you. I know. I think I can wave to you from my window. <laughs> I wow. I think so too. Like I feel like. Big fat shad, big big fat <laughs> droplet fell on my eyeball. Glad you're far away because, like, I wanted to see like the makeup melting. <laughs>
like i'll go from her complimenting me to like nagin or chandrabuki in like 2 seconds once that makeup melts shit i got to go guys oh god i need to laugh thank, thank you <laughs> thank you so lovely to see you You've been watching FC at Can 2023 in association with travel partner Air France, smartphone partner Google Pixel, beauty partner L'Oréal Paris, media partner NDTV and travel trend partner Skybags.